Secondary school can be exciting and enjoyable, but it can also be stressful. Having to cope with exam pressure, relationships and growing from a child to a young adult. Some young people are self-harming as a way of coping with stress. This is an issue in Coventry, where our number of young people self-harming is greater than the rest of the country. Our rate of hospital admissions for mental health problems is lower than the rest of England though. We're tackling this by working as partners with young people and their families. I have a daughter who's now a teenager and she's been struggling for the last two, three years now. And then somebody informed me that they thought that Laura was self-harming and when confronted with that she said she had been, she'd made some cuts, my daughter had made some cuts on her arm and we thought we'd sorted it, we thought we'd been to the doctors, we'd gone for some counselling, they were all very, very helpful, we thought that would be an end of it. Um, but then my daughter became progressively more anxious and stressed and we went along to see the doctor again and she was referred to CAMS um, along with counselling at school um, and school have been amazing. They've got a, a pupil learning centre where she can go at any time. She's got a link worker that she works with and she knows that she's got a complete trust there that she has with this person. Hopefully now she's started to turn around, she's got the help in place and she's got a brighter future because of that. Uh, the children tend to get to re uh, refer to me through either college leaders, some of them would be self-referrals that they're not coping um, and dependent on their needs if they're very anxious or they're depressed I will sometimes refer them on to specialist support. Having healthy, informed attitudes and behaviours towards sexual health can protect a young person against things like having sex too young, picking up a sexually transmitted infection or accidentally falling pregnant. Being a teenage parent is hard and their children are more likely to have emotional or health problems. Teenage pregnancy is a big issue in Coventry as we have more teen parents than the rest of the country. The number of teen parents is going down and we want to see this improvement continue. There are big differences across the city. Our ambition is to reduce the number of pregnant women under the age of 18 from 227 to 140 to match the best in England. In Coventry, we want to help teenagers make positive choices about sexual health and to support teen parents to raise happy and successful children. The Sex Factor competition, uh, our head of sixth form came into our maths lesson and he said, right boys, this will be up your street. We're going to make you write a song about safe sex. So uh, we did. We've seen them for a while now and tonight can be the night. You're looking in the mirror and you hope you look alright. Girls, you've got your best dress on and you're feeling rather chuffed. Cause you're looking down and thinking, my bra size has gone up. It was really like a great experience and it was just all to promote safe sex. Like, it was just brilliant. After all, this is the fifth day and you hope she wants to snuggle. Past experiences from mom and dad, you're close to throwing up. And the lectures from the family saying, make sure you bag it up. And... But um, also wasn't too boring, and you could have a bit of fun with it because yeah. people our age and you know a bit younger and, and, and a bit older. They get yeah, a bit, of, yeah, you nagging, get a bit like nagging. It's nagging. nagging. We didn't want that. We wanted to kind of make it funny and make it light hearted. You'd rather be safe than sorry, but if it's in a rush. Don't want to be nine months down the line With everyone shouting push You'd rather be safe than sorry With whomever it may be Even the prettiest of faces Could be carrying an STD STD Not for me 
Our job has been created to set up a pathway for teenage pregnancy in Coventry, um, just to ensure um, really good liaison between services um, and to try and improve outcomes for teenage mums. Um, before uh, the iBump service started last July, um, there, was, there wasn't any additional support for young people across Coventry other than the Family Nurse Partnership. So um, what we do is offer, operate a liaison model of care where the community midwife remains their main carer and we wrap around some extra support for them according to their needs. The iBump service is beneficial to young parents because not only do they have their community midwife, um, to um, see regularly but we can um, spend more time with them and we can help um, unravel some of the, the, the trickier complexities that, that comes with being a young parent. One mum that we worked with who was horrified initially at being labelled a teenage parent um, and it was just about working with her and befriending her and breaking down some of those barriers and seeing that actually the extra support that we could offer would be really beneficial to her. Okay, my name's Jamie Walker. I am 19 years old. I fell pregnant with Ronan when I was 18 years old and I was uh, in a very happy relationship with my boyfriend, working full time, but the thought of ever becoming pregnant at this age just was not even possible. And when I found out I was pregnant, it was the most, in the nicest way possible now, horrible thing ever. It was like a wor my worst nightmare at the time. So initially when she told me about um, the services I bumps and it was for specifically teenage mums, straight away I said to my mum, I'm not going to that. No way. I'm not doing it because of the label teenage mum. But I think after a while, once comes to terms with it and um, I faced up to facts really and I started going and using the services, it was one of the best things I'd ever done and it gave me the confidence to be like, I am a teenage mom, and I'm happy to be a teenage mom, because mums are mums no matter what age you are. The things that I learnt there have just been so, so helpful for me. Me and my partner met when we were 15, um, and um, I became pregnant. I became pregnant at 16. I didn't tell my family, I told my partner's family, who were very supportive. Um, and then I informed my school and they supported me to complete my GCSEs and my A-levels and um, I then became independent by moving into social housing. And obviously I would never change the decision to keep my daughter because she is absolutely fantastic. But looking back, I would have, um, it would have been ideal if we had more support services. The Sorted and the Children and Young Persons Project are uh, through Citizens Advice Bureau. Um, the Sorted Project and the Children and Young Persons Project is quite new and unique and it's working really well. So when we work with young parents, the, the first issue is really engaging with services. Uh, most young people feel they're being judged. And what we find through uh, the voluntary organisation and when we deliver the sessions, we can increase people's confidence and make them understand why the services are there and how they can help them. So we try and build relationships between those services and get young people to access those services. And on top of that, we also um, deliver financial capability to young parents in the city or, to, or, or pregnant teenagers. So we're trying to get in there early to get it right and, and support people to become better off in the future. Mm -hmm.